Praise God. Praise the Lord. The very success of what I'm about to do with you this today is that you hear the voice of Jesus. That will be the only success. The success of my teaching will be that there is one who knows your heart. One who knows you better than you know yourself that he is in this room. Praise the Lord. Did you know Jesus knows you better than you know yourself? I know many of us are PhDs. We think we are PhDs. I know who I am. If you ask the Chinese, it will be, I know who I am. You know, they point to their nose. I know who I am. But like you heard, if you really want to know who you are, you have to hear it from Jesus. Let me repeat that. If you really want to know who you are, you have to hear it from Jesus. Case in point, travel and journey with me as, as, we, as we are sharing this time together. Are we? We're sharing this together? Am I having, are you sharing your thoughts with me? Batman. Hmm? Share your thoughts with me. With the word of God as we study the word of God. Jesus has to tell you who you are. Your dada and mama, or papa and mummy, or help me out, acha and amma, yeah, your dad, your mom, pops, <laughs> crazy. <laughs> you know, your parents can tell you to a certain extent. They tell you a, to a certain extent. What's your name? Huh? Aaron. Oh, Aaron. Aaron or Aaron? Aaron? Aaron. Aaron, you sure? Who told you it's Aaron, man? <laughs> your parents did. Yeah. It's cool. You're in that age. You can blame it on the parents. Yes. <laughs> So you've, you've gained much from your parents, from your situation, your circumstance, your social uh, status. You know, the parents give us quite a few things. Yeah, your mannerism. You walk just like your dad. For some of us, that's like a yuck. <laughs> Especially at this particular age. Or you speak, you look like your dad. There are many things that we gain from our parents. But our heavenly father, everybody say heavenly father. That's why you're here for this conference. There's something you need to get from your heavenly father. It's transformative. It is a transformation that will shake the earth. But I'm telling you, if you allow yourself to be rooted, praise God. You find your roots some of us need to pluck our roots out of some things. Something, God forbid, your parents may have told you. Mm, we've heard some very nice things from our parents. And we've heard some oh, better things. <laughs> we've heard some crazy, you know, especially in those moments. <laughs> you know, some things have come out of our parents. There's certain things that we remember. Some of our teachers have affected us. Teachers from school, I don't want to look at anybody. <laughs> some of us, you know, we, we uh, I still, I had a traumatic experience once. I was going for football and I wore shorts. I wore shorts, and uh, I went for football, and I met a couple of my friends from church. From church! Say, from church? <laughs> and I had a traumatic experience. I am closing in on a uh, half a century. Pastor will understand. Yeah, I am closing in on half a century. I still remember that experience like uh, yesterday. 
I walked to the f- football stadium. I know I thought of myself like Pele, you know. Some of you don't know. Okay, Messi. Um, and and I and I go there and I was okay. I was good at. I was all right. Yeah. So I walked to that stadium and I had this, uh, you know, some confidence in being there. And I'm in church. I'm in church. And uh, as I walked, <laughs> whoo, <laughs> I, I walked there. Walked to this uh, to the football ground and we surrounded. We just prayed. We're church after all. And uh, we prayed. And uh, one of the sort of elder people in the, in the group <clears throat> looked at my legs. What was he doing looking at my legs? I don't know. But he was looking at my legs. And he said, what legs? And I'm like, the ones I was born in, yeah, by the way. <laughs> I didn't have a choice. But um, he looked at me, what legs? And he described my legs. And now I don't want to give the description because I don't want to be famous for oh, that preacher, that, that preacher with the dash legs. I, I don't want to be famous. <laughs> and uh, he made a statement. It destroyed my confidence. It destroyed it. So there are things that people have spoken to you which has, has had a destructive effect on you. And it is important for us to remove our roots from such things. I'm using one example, but you must remove your roots from those things. That's that's nice. Does everybody feel like doing what he's doing? Did everybody see what he did? Just do that again. Oh, that's sweet, man. That goes into my notes. Now, everybody, let's let's do this together. Come on. We can all do this, can't we? Can you all see what he did? Did you all see what he did? Did you see it? He's saying not again. Yes, again. We'd like to see it one more time. Let's just see that one more time. Can everybody see what he's doing? Yes, I can see you. Yes. Just do that one more time. And now all of us, okay, wait, 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 wait. Now all of us on the count of three. One, two, three. Let's do that. The other side. Yeah, some of this. Some of you didn't do it. Do it again. Let's do that. One, two, three. Let's do that. And the other way. Feel that stretch. Feel it. Not feeling it. So where was I? Thank you for such a wonderful distraction. Now where was I? (laughs) So we need to remove our roots. huh? Oh my. No, no. I I got past my legs. I (laughs) got. Good one. (laughs) Oh, man, that's cool. (laughs) So we need to remove our roots from things that uh, people have spoken over us. Negative things. I don't have to be specific. Negative things. Things that uh, put a boundary on you. Potta. Potta is a boundary. Isn't it a boundary? You are a potta. It's a boundary. You can get stuck there for the rest of your life. Listen carefully. You can get stuck in these things for the rest of your life. You have to uproot the roots you've put down into these things. I don't have anybody suffered abuse in this place. I don't know if you were abused as a child. I'm not sure. But I know the abuser is out there. Some of you, God forbid, do not face abuse. Some of you have been abused in relationship. You need to take your roots out of that. Are you listening to me? You need to take the roots out, your limitations. Jesus took a man who, uh, I mean, I know him personally. I don't want to give too many specifics. He's famous. So let me try to be as ambiguous as possible. If you compare him to, wow, this is difficult. If you compare him to um, some of the great musicians in the world, 
He's not really, he doesn't really yeah, match the standard. But Jesus spoke to him. He was, uh, he was physically ill. Yeah, emotionally ill. He was physically ill. I think some of you already put it together. Anyway, maybe. Okay. He was physically ill. Emotionally he had issues. But Jesus spoke to him. And he removed his limitations. Praise the Lord. He removed his limitations and he said, yes, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Jesus told him, I will take you around the world. Oh, we'd love to hear that. Yeah, he, he can. You'd love to hear that, wouldn't you? The right answer is yes. <laughs> it's all right. So Jesus told him, I will take you around the world. I will make you stand before presidents and kings. And let me tell you, with his five loaves and two fish, Jesus took him around the world. Put it together, understand. With his five loaves and two fish, God took him around the world, ministering the gospel of Jesus to almost every nation. With whatever capacity, with his five loaves and two fish. Praise the Lord. Because he allowed Jesus to... the Lord. Praise the Lord. He allowed Jesus to praise God. Uproot him. Are you going to allow Jesus to uproot you? There was a the, yeah, there was a yes on this side. I need a yes from this side. You're going to allow Jesus to uproot you. Are you going to look into the face of Jesus and say, Jesus speak to me. Jesus, speak to me. Before this conference is over, I want a confirmation. I want a vision. I want to hear the voice of the Holy Spirit so that I can uproot from that which is in the past and dig my roots into where Jesus is taking me. Hallelujah. Where Jesus is taking me. Can you say that? Where Jesus is taking me. Where Jesus is taking me. So now there's an, uh, there's an informal competition here as between the left and the right. It's one of the reasons you're in teams. Okay? So now you are a left team and you're a right team. And stay this way, by the way. Because when I do the rest of the sessions and everyone else that's ministering here, when, the per when I, you know, I look at the... My right, yes. Yeah, when I, when I look at the... I want to see the right person. <laughs> and when I look to the left, I do not want to leave anybody out. <laughs> I tried to put left in there, but it was grammatically even difficult. <laughs> but... Huh? To see the right person, some rapper, <laughs> some, <laughs> right person on the left side. What's the rest of the song? <laughs> so stay in the same seats you have sat. Is that difficult? I'm looking at you so you can answer. Is that difficult? It is difficult. <laughs> biryani is on its way. I think it's biryani. Especially from the first session, it better be biryani. Anyway, uh, it's good. You good? Stay in the thought process. Yeah. Sit in the same seats. Is that is that difficult? You're right. Be confident about the right answer. Maybe I should give it to the people on the right. Is it a difficult thing? Who should I ask? Is it a difficult thing to sit in the same seat? Yeah. Thank you. Why is it not louder? Uh, is it a difficult thing to sit on the same seat? No. Okay, now you can answer together. Is it a difficult thing to sit on the same seat? No. Oh, good, good. Very good. So I want to read a scripture for you before my, we move on. Praise the Lord. It's an imperishable seed. Say imperishable seed. Thank you, Jesus. 
First Peter chapter 1 and verses 23-25, if you have your Bibles. You have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but... So we spoke about root. Okay. We spoke about root, yes? So, you know the seed? Have you seen a seed? So one of the first things that come out of a seed is... It's okay. It's, it's fun to be... Yeah. Uh, eh? That's what you said? You didn't correct it, right? Hmm. No, it's a root. The first thing that comes out of the seed is a root. I know you're conflicted because you're like, I'm not sure I've seen something else also. There's like this one. But the root is the one that develops really fast. All of you know that, right? Should I take you back to the, the uh, we all did it, didn't we? No, we didn't do it. The, the, huh? Not by. Yeah. We, we. So this seed, there's something special about it. It's, it's not an ordinary seed. Therefore, the root that comes out of it is very special. It's a very special root. It's powerful. Peter tells us, you were born again. Say born again. again. Say born again. again. Oh, glory. Say "Born born again. So you were born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable. That is through the living and enduring word of, word of, by the way, I'm using NASB. I hope, yeah, media is all right. Okay. Imperishable. Say imperishable. Let's say I'm special. Say I'm special. Mm, you're very special. You're very special. You are very special. The devil doesn't want you to know it. The devil doesn't want you to know it. You are very special. That you are sitting in this room today is not a coincidence. It's not an accident. It's not because your parents thought, ah, you know, let's just send them somewhere. That's not why you are here. I hope none of you are confused. I hope uh, you know that you are put in teams. It's It's not an accident. So you're already paying more attention because you've been put in teams. It's our nature. What to do? Because, you know, it just does things to us. But I want you to know, it's not an accident. It's not an accident. There is something special going on. Say something special going on. Say something special is going on. It's an imperishable seed. It is something extraordinary. Have you seen an imperishable seed? Now I'm going to ask you some IQ questions. Yeah. Some IQ questions. IQ questions. IQ questions. What is so special about seeds? Normal seeds. Oh, I see. What is special about seeds? It doesn't look like... You were saying something. Somebody was saying something. You can't say. (laughs) Maybe later if I don't get the point. Just for them to think. I see that none of you are farmers. You should do farming. Every Christian should do some form of farming. You can give it as a, uh, yeah, you should, in church, you should tell these people do some, some little bit of farming. Because it's important, because the Bible speaks constantly with farming language. Correct? Frustrating, isn't it, for us who are not farmers? 
That's why when I asked her, what's special about the sea? Go home. I'm sure you have some access somewhere to some seed. Recently in Israel, let me tell you something that happened recently in Israel. They were able to revive a particular, I don't know if it was olive tree. Was it an olive tree? I cannot remember. Or a, mm, a palm tree. I don't have it in my bag. You heard that? That's a zip. Okay. And what I constantly forget for a man who sweats is my towel. That was dramatic, wasn't it? It was really dramatic. Anyway, so I mean, Israel and a bag and zip and anyway. So, so Israel recently, they, they recently meaning maybe or five years ago, uh, they, uh, they found seeds that were nearly 2,000 years old, if I'm not mistaken. Nearly, at least a couple of, huh? Was it? No, no, it wasn't wheat. That I'm sure, because I remember what the, the, it's a palm, it's a palm, kind of a palm tree. Dates, did you say dates? Yeah, it's a, it's a, the dates, yeah, Judean palm tree. For somebody who's not into, um, yeah, she's teaching me now. So um, exactly, that's what it was, dates. Everybody said dates. I'm not talking about dating somebody. I'm talking about dates, the ones you eat. So these dates were, uh, they thought it's extinct. But while they were doing some archaeology or something, they were just, they found these seeds, say seeds. That was nearly a couple of, uh, easily a thousand plus years. Say thousand plus years. Now, I know there's no Methuselah sitting here, but try and imagine thousand years. And they found these seeds and uh, they put them in the, where, where would they put the seeds? Huh? They eat it. No, they put it in the, be confident about your answers. Okay, put them in the soil, they took special care of them, put some, yeah. And what happened? They sprouted. You try that with your SSD and, hmm? You know what an SSD is, solid state drive. Thousand years later, see whether it's working. Thousand years later, just try it out. You know, we're so ah, solid state. That's why I have the cross on it, because, you know, puts me in perspective. This is the solid state. Mm. Praise God. Amen. It is. Yes. So we think, you know, don't be distracted. No, God's power is awesome. There's nothing like God's power. I can feel it in this place. God's power is awesome. No, you're living your life in um, man's power. It's time to turn, mm, change transformers. <sighs> KCB is, you know, struggling. Change transformers. So they found this seed and they poured some water and it, start, it sprung to life. It sprung to life. More than 1,000 plus years ago, later. Isn't that amazing? Isn't that amazing? Go home, go to the kitchen, surprise your parents, take a seed. Or go to your garden, surprise your parents, go to the garden, take it to your father. Oh, it yeah, depends. Yeah. If he doesn't want to be disturbed, don't disturb him. But yeah, take it to your mom. Oh, this is amazing. I do that to my children and my wife. They can't do this. Sometimes they get frustrated because there's nothing like God's power. There's nothing like God's power. So it's, it's time. You know, all this uh, man's uh, words and man's ideas are fruit. Get into the imperishable sea, imperishable. And uh, it is comparing, yeah, it is looking that, at that thousand plus year seed, which is absolutely amazing. 
And God's word is telling us, you were not born of such perishable seed. You are born of something even greater. You have been born again, not of seed which is perishable, but imperishable. That is the living, enduring word of God. I want to quickly go to a passage. Yes. Matthew chapter 16. Hallelujah, I take the silence to mean hunger for the word of God. (laughs) Matthew chapter 16, yes, Matthew chapter 16, won't you say it with me, Matthew chapter 16, say it again, Matthew chapter 16, yeah, sometimes you have to wrap it so it just gets into your head, Matthew chapter I was just checking. I shouldn't get it wrong after all this. Okay, Matthew chapter 16. (laughs) Praise God. Matthew chapter 16 verses 13 to 20. Now this is uh, how we are to live our lives. This, This is where we need to... This is the realm that all of you need to start living in. Praise the Lord. This is the realm in which all of us... This is the imperishable seed in in action. You want to see it? Would you like to see the imperishable seed in action? I'll do that again. Do you want to see the imperishable seed in action? Yes. I want you to know the chairs in WICC, correct? Exist because of what happened in this passage. 2,000 years later, these chairs exist because of imperishable seed. Somebody received imperishable seed and allowed it to take root in his life. He rooted his life. He allowed that seed to root inside of him and he began to grow roots in that imperishable seed. That's why you're sitting on that chair. Now when Jesus came into the district of Caesarea Philippi, he was asking his disciples, who do people say? The son of man? Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Who do people say that the Son of Man? And they said, some say. Others, you can help me if you want. Others say. And still others. And one of the. Jeremiah, one of the. And Jesus said. Say Jesus said. Say Jesus said. Who? But before who, there's a but. So your pastor says something. Your youth leader says something. These musicians say something. But Jesus is interested in knowing who do you? Who do you? And Jesus said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, because flesh and blood and blood did not reveal this to you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Amen. Can somebody point to some flesh and blood? Uh, let me make it easy. For, oh, that's classic. <laughs> Brilliant. No, no. Uh, we can point it to me. It's all right. Say, point at some flesh and blood. Hmm. So beyond, okay, they're enjoying the moment, aren't you? (laughs) But uh, I want you to know, beyond this flesh and blood, today you've got to hear the voice of Jesus. And I know it's tugging at your heart. I know it's tugging at your heart. Jesus is tugging at your heart. I know you sense it. Because he wants to reveal something to you. Yeah, he says, um, the father is doing this business. Say the father's business. Say the father's business. The father's very busy. You'll hear about it in the next session. The father's very busy. Um, And he's doing this. He says, flesh and blood, my father who is in heaven. And I also say to you that you are Peter. Your name changed. Hmm? 
Praise God, one year from now, yeah, I'll have to reintroduce myself to you. Frankly, I should say, I sh you will reintroduce yourself to me because you've changed. It's because you've changed. That's what the word, the, uh, the, the um, imperishable seed does, it changes you. Mm, it changes you. Yeah. And uh, suddenly there's a change. There's a change because the Father has unlocked something. He has sent a seed, an imperishable seed. He says, I say to you that you are Peter. Oh, glory. And upon this rock, which rock? Which rock? Some of you are saying Peter in hushed tones because you're afraid I'll excommunicate you or something. <laughs> hmm? Upon this rock, I say your name, name has changed. The change has been prophesied. A change has begun in Simon Barjona. Yes, I can see the time. Thank you. Hmm. The change has started, a change is happening, a change is prophesied about you. Because the Father has done something, He's reached out from heaven and something has transpired. Praise the Lord. Flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but the living God is speaking to you. Praise the Lord. Uh, that is the rock. What is the rock? The living word, that's right, the imperishable seed is the rock, not Simon Bar Jonah, but what God is speaking to you is a rock. And it says, uh, I say to you, Peter, upon this rock, I will build W-I-C-C. -C. Praise the Lord. Before me is a, a group, I believe that the Lord is going to build his church. Because you choose to be rooted in that which flesh and blood did not reveal it to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Flesh and blood did not reveal it to you. Praise the Lord. Let us pray. Abba, thank you for these precious moments. Thank you for these precious moments. Where's that anointed man? Keep your hearts, your eyes on Jesus. <coughs> I believe the Lord is going to speak to you. Something on which you will build your life. Something on which you can be rooted. Something that is imperishable. Something very special God wants to give you. He wants to speak into your heart. He wants to speak into your heart. You listen to Jesus. Just listen to Jesus. I don't serve a dead God. I serve a living God. If you paid attention to that scripture, Peter said, you are the son of the living God. We don't serve a dead God, we serve a living God. Don't be surprised if you hear his voice calling in your heart. Don't be distracted. Hear the tender voice of the Father. songwriter once wrote like this a worship song he said I feel the touch of Jesus I can feel him in this place if God is giving you a, a song in your heart just feel
you're free to lift it up in a certain quietness in a in a way that doesn't disturb anyone around you just you can I will never leave you nor forsake you Somebody needs to hear that I will never leave you nor forsake you some relationships have failed you by but my relationship with you will not fail i will carry you through the waters in the fire i will be with there with you i will not walk away in the fire that you are facing right now i will not forsake you i will not leave you i am the living god I have brought you here I am the living God I have a purpose for your life far beyond your imagination far beyond your imagination I have a plan for your life in your wildest dreams you did not expect you do not expect what I have in store for you in the presence of the very people that cursed you i will lift you oh this is such an amazing presence of god this place depression you have no place here out we do not give permission to any spirit of depression out a spirit of confusion out because the living god is here the prince of peace is in our midst the lord says peace i give you peace the the everything else is dry for you it's uh, you need something fresh and jesus says i am the living one I am the fountain that will not stop it will not cease Thank you Jesus You are my son You are my son I formed you in your mother's womb You are my son you are my daughter You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are not an accident. You are not an accident. The Lord is healing your wounds. I see hearts being healed. Hearts being healed and prepared to be rooted in what Jesus said, not what man said, but what Jesus is saying over your life. Yes, he's saying it. You're saying no, it's not possible. Yes, it is possible. I will build my church through you. I will build my church through you. Lord, I'm weak. The Lord says I'm strong. You say I'm weak. The Lord says I am strong. Lord, I I can't speak. The Lord says I will give you words to speak. Receive it. what you are doing abba thank you jesus for this very special group of young people it's very special and all of us that are together here in this place we honor your presence oh how he loves us oh how he loves us oh i see a vision of seed falling from heaven left and on the right seed falling from heaven imperishable seed over every single one of you that's what's amazing it's not like it's only at one but it's every single one of you 
the Lord is doing something new will you not be aware of it I am doing something new be aware of it says the Holy Spirit thank you Jesus praise the Lord thank you Jesus we give you praise Abba. we give you praise we give you praise 